The idea that San Onofre, the nuclear plants, would reopen is very, very, very dangerous. I mean, in, in the wake of Fukushima, uh, people should understand that there is no plant, no nuclear reactor site in the United States more vulnerable to an earthquake and tsunami than San Onofre. It is right on the beach. And, you know, I suspect that if an earthquake occurred, that plant could just uh, be completely devastated. It would devastate uh, the ocean. It would uh, send a radioactive cloud, and it would eventually get into San Diego and Los Angeles. It would wipe out the Central Valley. I mean, we are talking about an apocalyptic situation here. Now, the situation with the steam generators and the tubing is clearly very, very serious with a tremendous amount of uh, uh, engineering uh, uh, uncertainty involved. And it would be the pinnacle of irresponsibility <clears throat> for the government to let the utility reopen this, these reactors under any circumstances. It's essential that both those reactors stay permanently shut. And the focus on reactor number two now, and the idea that Southern California Edison uh, wants to reopen it, is, um, shall we say, beyond psychotic. I uh, spent a, one of the worst years of my life writing constantly about Fukushima. We know that radiation from Fukushima came to California. We know the circumstances that caused Fukushima. I was the disaster there. I was in Japan in the 1970s. I wrote about Fukushima uh, and all the other reactors in Japan which are on earthquake faults and in tsunami zones. And the, the disaster that happened in Fukushima was not a surprise. We, this was predicted. People understood that enough of these reactor sites were in, shall we say, geologically challenged areas that this could happen. Kashiwazaki with seven reactors in Japan was shut by an earthquake just a few years ago. Now we have had two reactor sites in the United States that have been seriously impacted by earthquakes. Of Ironically, the Perry reactor site on July 31st, 1986, was hit by an earthquake and there was substantial damage done to the reactor. Thankfully it wasn't open at the time. And now we've had reactors that were open in Virginia that were harmed mm -hmm. by earthquakes. What is it about the earthquake and seismic activity that the utility and the government in California don't understand? This is a situation where if the very worst happened we would have no excuse. We have to shut permanently shut both Unit 3 and Unit 2 at San Onofre and make sure that they never ever reopen. They are old, they are decayed, they have faulty steam generators, uh, they are in an earthquake uh, uh, zone within a couple miles of at least one and probably more major uh, earthquake faults right on the ocean. The, we have to remember that the earthquake that caused the tsunami at Fukushima occurred uh, more than 100 miles away from the Fukushima site. And yet the significant damage to Fukushima was done by the earthquake. The tsunami complicated matters, but Fukushima, those reactors were on their way to uh, meltdowns long before the tsunami hit. The same would be true of San Onofre. There is absolutely no excuse for ever reopening either one of those reactors, particularly when the renewable energy industry is booming so powerfully in California. It would be a tremendous plus for the California economy to have both reactors at San Onofre permanently shut so that the move to renewables could accelerate. So please, everyone, uh, my daughter and my grandson live in Los Angeles. I don't want anything happening at San Onofre. Please, everyone, keep those reactors permanently shut.